You guys know I never trophy fish, except for this one lake. I could fish somewhere else, but it's really close to home. So today we're trophy fishing. It is the second to last day of the season. I can't fish tomorrow, it's family day. I am going all out today. It is 8.40 in the morning and I can fish till two hours into the dark. I have extra water with me, I have extra food with me, and I brought a porta potty, like little toilet thing, in case I need to do that kind of stuff out here. My goal, knock on wood, I have wood in my boat for that. one of the reasons right there, is a 30 inch trophy sized New Hampshire lake trout. Conditions could not be mixed more right now. It's supposed to rain, it was raining on the way here. The Water is like absolute glass. It's supposed to be that way all day today. So there's no sneaking up on fish is gonna be a little bit difficult. There's gonna be no wind noise to cover waves to cover me. Cause I'm gonna be fishing pretty shallow, I think. And I'm not sure what the barometric pressure is doing. I'm, I have to go anyway. So let's, let's see if we can catch a 30 inch trophy size lake trout. I'm, I'm very excited about it. I'm amped up. I actually have chum and bait with me today, which I almost never do. Uh, I never fish with it. I never fish with live bait, unless I'm doing that kind of kind of style video. Um, even with ice fishing, I just normally jig. You guys know that because I went from fly fishing, which is artificials only, to bass fishing, which you can't really use live bait during tournaments, to now lake trout, which is like people use kind of both basically. So cross your fingers for me uh, and uh, let me know in the comments if you guys are watching this from a deer stand. It's the very end of the season here. I know deer fishing, <laughs> I know deer hunting seasons right now. And I had someone complain last year, like, oh, you don't have the uh, the captions on. So I'll make sure I'll put captions in this video so you guys can watch this uh, while you wait for a deer to come in. Let's go. And I'm making sure I get all my rods rigged up before I get to my location. I do, I have fished this lake before. Um, I caught a big fish here last year. And I have another pair of underwear underneath this, or another pair of pants, because it's cold. This is a scuffed up three quarter ounce jig. Problem is, is I sell my own jigs. And so if I'm ever low from my supplier, uh, who's lead free bass jigs down in Massachusetts, I steal from my own stuff and I ship it out. So before I go on my big trip this year, which is in a, next week, I think, to Sebago, I need to make sure I restock myself. All right, this worked pretty well last time. So get that out of the boat. I'm running pretty heavy. I'm running 12 pound, 15 pound, and 20 pound on uh, different size rods here. And I'm not worried about the fish breaking my line per se. I'm worried about them biting through my line. They have teeth, aggressive teeth. So I got two Lakers kind of next to me here. But they're smashing bait. And I basically, I have a spot in front of me and I'm looking for outliers that are a little more hungry. The ones up there can be a little bit finicky. Ooh, he smacked it. No. Smacked it again. Problem is I need to flip the boat closer and 180 so I can not swivel my head against the screen here without spooking them. So I need to get a little bit closer. I think that's a lake trap. I think that's a lake trout for sure. No. 
That was a bigger fish too. That's infuriating folks, infuriating. So many fish down there. That's strike three for me guys. The most finicky freaking lake trout in the world. <clears throat> yes. Bigger fish. Ugh. Come on. No mercy. No mercy. Yes. 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 Not a giant, but a big fish. That's what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Just short of 23 inches. Just short of 23. Put him right back in, he's gonna scare that school and then I'll be done for this area for a little while. Yes! Caught that on the uh, pin smelt in the white natural glow jig head. Oh no! Notorious for short striking and pulling the jig tail down. That's why. We're releasing those new hooks. I don't have them in white right now. I do have some in white, they're my personal ones, but I haven't really focused on selling any of them yet. Because <sighs> it has an integral hook keeper in it. Which is good and bad, holds the hook on, but when they do pull it down, it shreds that part of the hook, the bait, I mean. Got him. No way. Freaking spoons are going to be the ticket today. <sighs> no freaking way. Boats of that. Boats a disaster. Another little chunk. Not very big. Going back in. There's one, two, three, four, five on the screen. They haven't seen me yet for some forsaken reason. I've never seen Lakers more turned off than this lake. They don't really spook. They just they just don't want to eat. All right, found a bunch of Lakers. Not a single fucking one acted like a Laker, which is mildly annoying. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to come back over here and check this ledge. No. I'm singing in the rain. And I'm singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling I'm at. Got a big stack of feet. I've never seen so many effing lake trout in one spot. Oh, but it's got your rainbow. Maybe I, maybe I try a little black, black on black Ned rig, make it look like a leech. It's my only hope, guys. There's so many fucking lake trout here. I'm literally gonna cry, guys. Jeez. <sighs> Please don't get wrapped on my other line. 
I have a tremendous amount of pressure on this fish. No freaking way, guys. Super finesse presentation. Literally black on black. My goodness. What a freaking fatosaurus. Look at the size of these freaking fish. They're so healthy. They're so healthy. And there's so many down there. So many down there. Going back in. All right, start recording 2.30. I just want you guys to see the enormous amount of lake trout below me and how finicky these guys are being. I'm using a black on black jig. Never had to use anything like this before in my life. 80. Stop recording 231. Those are all lake trout. Every last flipping one of them. And I'm guessing they're gonna get more fired up as the day goes on here. I wish, I wish somebody was here with me and they could freaking aim this thing away from these fish. So I'm seeing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 lake trout on the screen. I'm only at 135 feet. Holy. Goodness! That's a bigger fish. For sure. Oh, I can't get him vertical. I don't know how big that fish, this fish is, but I feel like he's big. Big head shakes, guys. Big freaking head shakes. Oh yeah, he's big. He's big. Nope, missed the net. Missed the net, missed the net, missed the net. Missed the net. Missed the net. Oh no, this is not good. This is not good. This is what I come off right here. It's not a 30, but it's big. Oh. 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 Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Oh. Nope, stay away from the motor. Holy crap, this is a big fish. Holy crap, this is a big fish. Yes! Oh, yes! Oh my god! What a tank, guys. I don't know if he's going to be pushing 30. He's, I don't think he's going to. I don't think he's going to. But he's worth getting the big camera out for, for sure. This thing is a beast, guys. 
Oh, he might go 30. He might go 30. Look at this ancient fish, guys. Look at the head on that thing. This lake just builds lake trout differently. I don't know why. My goodness. No, he's not going to go 30. Uh, 20. Mouth closed. 27. 27 inch, guys. What a beast. What a beautiful fish, too. Look at the mouth on that thing. I should technically let my heart race down, but I'm not gonna, because that was sick, and I want to do it again, and again, and again, and again. Oh, he almost smoked it right next to the surface, guys. I really don't want him to get a good look at it at all. Finally, one of them hit it. Not a big one. Not a giant, but pretty fish, though. Oh, and he's off. Lee. That was nuts. That was nuts. For sure. So I have a whole pod of them 100 feet in front of me and I, I fully believe that they're not okay with being blasted by LiveScope XR. So I'm trying to stay away from them as much as possible. So they don't get the full breadth of it basically. And I'm trying not to let any of them see it unless they're on it, if that makes any sense. But there's so many of them, it's ridiculous. And my pedal stops working only when it rains. Not really sure why that is. See how they like a little bit of, a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of nice, a little bit of, a little bit of nice. Come on. They won't chase it to the boat. They won't, they won't, they won't. Not to a certain point. Bomb cast. Count for wind. I'd be better off getting beside these fish. No, we didn't have a fucking hook set on him. Son of Bob, bitch. Oh, we got an hour and 20 minutes left. I'm just that memory card. Wasn't supposed to rain till right now, by the way. Weather man. Gotta have a place for my snoop. Follow mom around the house. Follow mom around the house. It is fing raining. Ooh. Ugh. Every one of these is a hefty fish. Frick. Ugh. 
Oh no. That could have been real bad. That could have been really bad. <laughs> These are like Sebago sized fatties. Jeez. Another 23 incher. Oh. <sighs> Thanks for watching. I know it's dark as hell, but we landed some big, we landed some big fish today. Uh, I'm impressed. Still not my favorite lake, but there's bigger fish in here than uh, most of when it's darker.